and you thought I forgot about this thing. Guys, I want to tell you one thing right now, and that is I will never forget about the S10. Most people know me as the PT Cruiser guy. The PT GT has helped this channel grow. It's introduced me to a whole new group of people. It's introduced me to a lot of new things. And it's been one heck of an experience that I will not trade for anything and I will never let that car go. But for some of you guys who have followed me for years, and by the way, thank you so much. You guys are the best. For those of you who have been around for a long time know that this was really what started me out. For those of you new to the channel, I don't know what this is. This is my 1993 Chevy S10. It's a 2.8 liter throttle body injected V6 and it has the T5 five-speed manual. This thing has 210,000 miles on it and it used to be my brother-in-law's truck. He actually owned it for around five years, something like that, five or six years maybe. It was his daily beater for that amount of time and definitely took a little bit of abuse, if you know what I'm saying. I bought this truck when I didn't even have my license. I was 15 and a half. Very thankful that we were in a position that I could buy it off of him. And this thing, I would not trade for anything as well. This is the first thing I started making car videos on. They were very cringy, they were very terrible, most of them. But just like the PTGT, this has been a serious learning experience. And as most of you guys know, last winter, so basically a year ago, we pulled the motor out of this thing, motor and transmission actually, took everything apart. I did a new clutch, I did a new oil pan. The oil pan was the primary reason that I was taking it all apart in the first place because it's impossible to pull the oil pan off and replace it without basically completely pulling the motor just because of the way it's positioned, it's really bad. So I ended up pulling everything out, I did a lot of new stuff, kind of refreshed the motor, and then we put it back in. But honestly, the 2.8 liter that's in it runs great, especially considering its mileage. The Tremec T5, it shifts perfectly fine, we threw a new clutch in it, so. I mean, the truck's good to go. We just have a few more odds and ends we have to figure out before it'll be up and running steady again. But I wanted to make a video dedicated to what my goals are for this truck. I recently did one on the PTGT, talking about the things I wanted to happen, primarily this year, but, but basically just what I want to see out of that car. But I want to do one on the S10 as well because it definitely deserves it. And I do have some stuff, some goals, if you will, that I want to achieve with this truck. And I definitely have a vision of what I want it to be. So similar to the PTGT, I don't want to change a whole lot on this thing. I don't want to do anything drastic. I want to keep it basically the same it is now, just clean it up, clean it up a lot. It needs a lot of body work and restoration work. It needs some work underneath too. Some of the floorboards or whatever you want to call them need to be cut out and need to be fabricated a little bit. One of the cab mounts, actually two of the cab mounts need to be redone. A lot of work like that, restoration work, I guess you would call it. it needs to be done. It needs a lot of body work, rocker panels. The bed needs work. Front quarter panel needs to be replaced and they both need work in one way or another. It needs a lot of body work and that is something I want to learn. Actually, it's part of the reason that I bought a cheap welder not long ago because I want to start learning to weld. Welding is definitely a skill that you need to learn and it's, well, a lot harder than you would think. <laughs> but it's something I really want to learn. I've always wanted to learn to weld and we'll get there. But that was the primary reason that I actually bought the welder in the first place was with this kind of in mind as a practice project, if you will. Because let's face it, this is really the perfect vehicle to start learning that kind of stuff with. I want to take my time and learn as I go along and make it look nice and kind of perfect it over time. And then I would paint it. And that's something else I want to learn to do is paint work. Auto body and paint is something I really have an interest in. So I want to paint it as well myself and I want to paint it the same color that it is now. This color blue I really love. And also the silver on the bottom. I did that with rattle cans a long time ago. And I actually really like the way it stands out. It's a nice contrast. So I would do that as well, silver along the bottom, and then this same color blue. And I want to keep the wheels exactly the same as well, as long as I can anyways. I want to try to like repaint them or kind of restore them a little bit. If I felt like they were kind of beyond repair, I might throw a pair of like some American racing rims on it. Something fairly simple that would match the truck nicely. Maybe even some old Camaro rims. Some of those actually look pretty sweet. But really, unlike the PTGT, I am not worried about the timing of these things. Maybe that stuff that I mentioned will happen this year. Maybe it won't all be finished this year, you know? I don't really know. Either way, I know there's gonna be a lot more videos on this very soon, but I'm not on any sort of time crunch, if you will. Unlike the PTGT, I wanna be able to daily that car, so I kinda want things to happen a little quicker, and it usually takes focus, just like any other daily driver. But the S10 is really for everybody to enjoy and just to take our time with and 
have fun working on, and of course making a lot of videos on as well. My only main time goal is I want to get everything figured out, get this thing running, licensed again, and back on the road this spring so that we can drive it around throughout the summer. The truck isn't horrible as it is as far as body work is concerned. It's still fairly clean considering that it's been driven in New York pretty much all its life, and it has, like I said, 210,000 miles on it. So I want to be able to drive it around as well this summer. I want to get it back on the road, and we will start working on it, you know, a little bit here and there. But that's really my only time crunch is I want to figure out what's going on with the fuel pump right now, get it running again, get it on the road this spring when things finally start warming up. That's really what's been holding me back is when I'm not working on one of the other cars, the last thing I want to do is come out here and freeze more and work on this thing because as you guys know, I hate the cold and uh, yeah, need I say more. But that's basically it with the S10. I want to do a lot of body work. I want to clean it up. And the only reason that that's not happening now is because it's so dang cold out. As soon as things start to warm up, I would say within the next, like, realistically, within the next couple months, we'll really begin doing a lot of videos on this. In between now and then, there might be some more stuff on it, but S10 content will come with the warmer weather. Now, long term, and when I say long term, I'm talking like years from now, probably, unless for some reason I happen to go viral, you guys can help me out with that. <laughs> but long term, Depending on what happens with the 2.8 liter, I would like to see a 305 throttle body injected Chevy motor in this thing. A 305 TBI swap. That's always been a kind of a dream of mine for this truck. I considered doing that when we had the 2.8 liter out of it already, but it was just gonna be too much. The 2.8, already runs perfectly fine. The T5 shifts perfectly fine. I want to keep it that way for as long as I can, but someday I'd like to try to make that dream come true and swap a 305 TBI into this thing. I don't know what transmission I would use as well, just probably a similar, like a T5. And I want to keep the looks exactly the same as well if I did that. Kind of a sleeper, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and if I did do that, I would just put like a rebuilt 305 in the thing. I wouldn't do like a crazy build. I wouldn't do a stroker kit or a turbo or a supercharger or a big can or anything like that. Just a rebuilt 305 like out of a old Chevy truck of some sort. I'm not really sure. That would definitely be a project and that would be a learning experience as well because as most of us know, engine swaps usually end up being a lot more work than you think. All you're thinking about is, whoa, wouldn't this motor be awesome in this car? But you're not thinking, oh, yeah. That's gonna suck. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, why not a 350? Why do you wanna put a 305 in it? And why do you wanna keep it throttle body injection? I really only have one reason for that, and that is just because it'd be a little bit more unique. I know a lot of people throw 350s in everything, not just S10s, but it's very common. 305 would almost kind of be like that factory V8 that was never made, or was never actually needed in the S10s, but it'd kind of be neat in that respect. It'd have a ton of power, it'd be so fun to cruise around and have some fun in it. It'd be a pretty easy swap to do, especially if you're retaining the throttle body injection. And the 305, just a normal 305, would be plenty of power, it'd be a ton of fun to cruise around and have fun with. I guess at this point, that's more of a dream than it is a goal, but depending on how things end up, that will happen at some point. If the 2.8 liter finally gets to the point where it dies, which I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, honestly, then I would probably think about doing the swap and start looking into it more. So for those of you who always ask about possibly swapping this truck, there's your answer. Maybe if I found a really, really, really good deal on a 350 or something at the time, I would change my mind, but that's just... That's my dream for this truck, I guess. And maybe someday we'll achieve that, but I love the truck as it is now. We're gonna make a lot more videos on it in the future, I promise, as soon as the weather warms up. This thing is so fun, it's so unique, and they're really rare around these parts to find a first gen that's like not falling apart at least. <laughs> so don't worry, the S10 is not forgotten. It's just here hibernating and that's going to change very soon. We're into February now. So for those of you guys who subscribe because of the S10 and are still here and still watching the videos, thank you so much. You guys are the best. You guys are the OG group of subscribers. You rock. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching the videos because I know the S10 hasn't been the focal point really since, well, for a couple years. Sometimes I don't realize it, but things have really progressed a lot over the last couple years. I thank you guys for sticking around and watching the videos. All you guys who are watching this, thank you so much for your support. You guys are the best. If you have not already, be sure and smash that subscribe button. Do a lot of different car content, primarily on my two cars, my PT GT, and of course this S10 will be back in videos very soon. And hit that thumbs up button if you are excited to see what's going to happen with the S10. I know I'm really excited to see it progress and start working on it again very soon. But anyways guys, I'm going to go get a coffee now. I am freezing. Thanks for watching this quick little channel CG video. You guys rock. God bless and I will see you in the next one.